Welcome back to Winning Law. I'm attorney David Wayne with offices in Houston, Texas. Today I'm noticing a really dirty trick that immigration is doing as it relates to pending I-751 petitions. Let me recap exactly what the I-751 petition is for people unfamiliar with the form. When a foreign national marries either a U.S. citizen or a lawful permanent resident, otherwise known as a green card holder, and receives a green card, the foreign national may receive either a two-year conditional green card or a 10-year permanent green card. If the marriage was older than two years at the time of the marriage interview or when a decision was made about the case, the foreign national will likely receive a 10-year permanent green card. But if the marriage was less than two years at the time, then most likely the foreign national will only receive a two-year conditional green card. With the conditional green cards within 90 days of the two-year expiration date, the foreign national is required to file a form called I-751, Petition to Remove Conditions on Residence with USCIS. This is where the USCIS is being very tricky in my opinion. Let's say for example the foreign national files an I-751 petition that is timely with their US citizen spouse or green card holder spouse before that green card expires. Nowadays the I-751 petition takes about 48 months to process. During that time, if that US citizen or green card holder spouse is upset and withdraws that petition, USCIS should update the online case tracker. This way, when the foreign national takes a look at it, they'll know that the petition was withdrawn. Lately, I noticed that immigration is not doing this, but they're still doing things that make it appear as though the foreign national is still in valid status, such as issuing their added stamps. This is a big problem because if the foreign national separates or divorces with their spouse after this form is filed, and they do not or they're unaware that spouse withdrew the petition, the foreign national may end up doing things that will cause them a lot of issues and problems in the future. For example, if the foreign national is oblivious that the spouse withdrew the I-751 petition, the foreign national may not know that the green card is no longer valid. So usually if the green card holder makes an appointment at a local USCIS field office for an added stamp because they either want a new job or they want to travel abroad, and they're automatically given an added stamp. The foreign national may feel like everything is processing smoothly and correctly. So if that individual uses and relies on that added stamp to travel abroad and then tries to return to the US, they may be told by US Customs and Border Patrol officer, the CBP, that their green card status is no longer valid because it was withdrawn by their spouse. Now, first I thought this happened only in a few cases, but now I'm not so sure because I'm seeing a trend with this because recently I filed a case that had this problem. For example, I filed an amended I-751 petition for a client that is no longer with his abusive spouse. When it was filed, I included a screenshot of the USCIS online case tracker showing that the case was still pending as of June 13, 2023. Then today I received a notice that the petition was rejected because it was missing the filing fee. Since amended petitions do not require a new government filing fee, this can only mean one thing. And this could mean that the USCIS online case tracker was not properly updated by USCIS. So please, if you or someone you know filed an I-751 with his or her spouse, and they are in a toxic relationship where that person constantly tells them and threatens them that they're going to withdraw their support for the I-751 petition, you may want to take them at their word and I strongly recommend that you refile a new I-751 petition by yourself and not with your abusive spouse. If you file it with your spouse, there is a chance that immigration will not update the online case tracker and you may believe that everything is going okay even though your petition is withdrawn. Again, I'm attorney David Wynn. This is Winning Law, and we hope that we have made immigration easier to understand. At David Gwynn's Law Office, we are here to help you. We bring families together through immigration. And on the other hand, we help you 
find solutions. All your legal needs in the hands of people who care, who are there for you. Will take care of your loved ones at the law office of David Wren.